Here's our tail to take for this, our second semifinal. Wade Barrett, 31 years old, and has a six inch reach advantage despite being the exact same height as Robert Thomas. With professional experience, both of them are still very young in their careers. Rob with only 14 fights, Wayne with only 11. Both of these guys have been thrown in against the best in the world early on in their career, and they're still getting better and developing as they continue on. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a Pacific American Muay Thai champion who brings with him a young professional record of nine wins with five losses, six of those nine wins coming by knockout. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 184 and one half pounds, 83.8 kilos. He's here tonight in New York City, fighting out of Toronto, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robert Thomas. Here now is his opponent, standing on my left and fighting out of the wide corner, a Golden Gloves boxer, making his 11th glory appearance. His professional record, six wins with five losses, and four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 183 and one half pounds, 83.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of New York City, New York, here is Wayne Barrett! And the referee in charge of this bout is Chris Wagner. Wayne, Rob, right here. Right here. Wayne, right here. All right, gentlemen, got your instructions in the dressing room. One nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain there until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight it's fair, it's fight hard. Judge. Joe, you just took a Judge. big, deep breath. You look Judge. more nervous than Robert does. Ready? What's the game plan, especially early on fight. here? Well, you can't let Wayne move. You're going to have to control the center of the ring right away. You're going to see Robert try to use his jab and try to catch him with some low kicks. He's got to stay tight defensively. He's going right to the low kick. I know in his last fight, you were urging Robert to press forward, go right after him. Is that what you want to see tonight as well? Yeah, he can't let Wayne dictate the pace. He's going to have to cut the ring off and take advantage of that. You're going to see a lot of good body punches and low kicks. Nice combo from Stop. Robert Thomas. Break. He's worked a lot on Rob's defense. Fight. You're going to see him really tight defensively, and he's been really working his boxing. He has Sid Vanderpool in his corner. He's really put some good boxing uh, together with my kickboxing style. We've got Rob switching stances. Robert began training at the age of 14, and within a couple months, went down to Mexico and fought their amateur champion, who was a 25-year-old man. Said he got destroyed, but it made him love the sport even more as he backs Barrett up against the ropes. And he's landing some good body punches, but I've known Rob since he was a 13-year-old kid. And he was, my sixth amateur fight was Rob's first, and he weighed in 115 pounds. Now 10 years later, 100 pounds heavier. And I know you think he's got the frame that one day perhaps he could go all the way up to heavyweight. Oh, yeah, definitely. He just keeps getting... Bigger as he comes, we have a good strength and conditioning program for him. But we have to limit his muscle growth to stay at this weight class. He's only 24 years old. Just landed a good right hand. This is where he needs to keep weight. Wayne Barrett in his last fight just didn't really look himself when he squared off against Dustin Jacoby. Took some time off, now he's back in there in a big spot in a contender tournament at MSG. Wayne is just staying very patient and that's what he does best. He doesn't overcommit his strikes. He's very calculated. I saw him hit the body on Rob once or twice now. There's Robert switching stances going southpaw. Which stance do you prefer Robert to be in, Joe? Well, we've just started playing around with self pods, something new we're working on, so he's gonna play around with it a, a few times in this fight. Oh, Barrett caught him there in the south pole stance. Five 
body shot there for the American. Also 30, or he is 31 years old. Thomas just 24. 10 seconds. One of the, the things with Rob what we've been having to work on is getting him busier from the start. Ooh, spinning back this just grazed Barrett. So there's round one. Let's take this opportunity, opportunity to learn more from Wade Barrett, 31-year-old amateur boy tie record of 19-1, including 15 knockouts. And also won a Golden Gloves boxing title. He's very well established here in the United States. And he has two big wins perfect. over Joe Schilling and Mike Lemaire. Both well, those wins coming forward. here in New York. Well, let's talk about my guy, Rob Thomas, a little bit. Very young, he's been training with me, like I mentioned. He's also developing his boxing with Sid Vanderpool, which is helping him out huge. He's have him as a counterfighter, but you're gonna see he's not that much of a counterfighter anymore. And one of the biggest things with Rob that you're gonna see is he's really dedicated his life to this now. He's a kid who hasn't missed any training. He drove three hours to see me three to four times a week. So he's put the dedication, the time, and he's trying to get him to get that switch, that eye of the tiger. It's three hours from Cambridge down to Toronto, huh? What the floor, what the floor, what the canvas right Coach! Let's go. Robert Fight. Thomas predicted a second round knockout over Wade Bear. Let's see if he can get it. Who'd you give round one to there, Joe? Well, just from that forward pressure, I like Rob. He's landing more of the power shots, but Wayne's staying a little bit more calm and relaxed, but still a close round. 37 strikes landed for Thomas in round one, 22 for Barrett. And here, Troy Sheridan, who was in my corner for all my fights, calling for Rob to throw the low kick. Good opportunity to say hello to everyone from Bazooka Kickboxing, Boxing by Sid, and all of Canada. Thomas still trying to decide which way he wants to go, South Paul or Orthodox. Which stance? Yeah, he's still starting a little slow for my liking. Seems like the right cross has been the one punch that he's focused on in this fight. And he has a, a very strong right hand, but he's not putting enough combinations. He's waiting too long. Wayne's doing a good job at staying relaxed, mixing on angles. And a nice uppercut there from Barrett. Barrett seems very comfortable backing up to the ropes. Is that the kind of advice you'd give him? Well, that's the way that's the way Barrett fights. He stays relaxed. He doesn't overcommit to things. But he'll try to catch you coming in. Very good timing. Good body shot from Thomas. Yeah, Rob wakes up. He just needs a little bit Need of a right warm-up. Just a very tricky fighter to fight as well. That's why he's been so successful in his career. And even speaking to him, he's not in this tournament to beat anyone in particular. It's, it's to show himself. He's here for himself. He doesn't care who he fights. It just shows the, the mindset that's grown from Wayne Barrett. Good high kick from Barrett. And there's a the right hand from Thomas. Let's see if that woke Rob up a little bit. I like when Rob's going to the body. Barrett with a shot on the way out. Ooh, and they exchange hooks. Good head movement from Barrett. Stop! Step back. Fight! Ten seconds. Stop! Fight! Five. So a better round there for Wade Barrett. Not sure if it was enough to take the second round, but it certainly could have been. So we'll head to round three with this fight very much up for grabs. Yeah. And that was definitely a better round for Wade Barrett. He seems to be finding himself. He's hitting and moving on angles. There he makes the head in the body. He seems to find some success with his body punching. But staying calm, staying relaxed, trying to bait Rob in a little bit. There's the uppercut. Not a lot of damage. 
But it did connect. Yeah, he touches you. And that's what makes Barrett very hard to understand is that he doesn't hit hard, but it's precision and timing that makes him dangerous. It's not that one punch knockout power. Okay. So be wary of that. There is Alyssa, one of our beautiful glory girls, as we're set for three rounds, three Fight. minutes to go. Who is advancing to the final later tonight to face Mike LeMaire? I still find this can be up in the air. You want to call it one round apiece? Both guys have to take it here. Can't just wait. They're going to have to go for it. Like you said, you don't get that second fight unless you win the first one. Can't say too much in the reserves. Let it hang out. Especially considering the beating you saw Mike Lemaire take in his victory. Stop. Break. Fight. This is what Rob needs to do. Be first. Wait. Can't just wait to counter. The game plan for Thomas was to put pressure on Barrett and eventually break him. Have you seen that happen? No, I find Rob's letting him out of the corners too much. He's letting him escape off the ropes. Oh, and that left hook sent him down! The Two, right hand wobbled and the three, left hook did the four, trick. Five, six, That's that late start seven, from Rob we always eight. see. Come to me. Something we continually you work okay? on. Walk this way. Seems to find his power in the third Definitely. round all the time. Yeah, That's okay. how he knocked out Warren fight. Thompson in his last fight. So here's Thomas trying to put an exclamation point here on Wade Baird, who's backed up against the ropes again. This is when Rob gets dangerous. You're going to see him start flowing a little bit. I want to see his kicks more now. Well, Wayne Baird's thinking punches. This is when he's got to kick. And he's got to commit on them. He's got to use his forward pressure. Wayne seems to be recovered. Now it's Barrett trying to put a little pressure on Thomas. Right hand connects for Barrett. Like you said, Barrett has come back. He seems completely fine and landed perhaps his best punch of the fight. Yeah, it seems like and now Thomas training. is against the ropes. What a round this could turn out to be with 40 seconds to go. Is it the body punching that Barrett's that's doing work? And now it's Thomas who's a little wobbly. The crowd urging Barrett on. He goes downstairs to the body, back upstairs. Thomas in real trouble. His legs are gone. Can Barrett come back and win this round? 15 seconds to go. Caught him with another Ten shot. Seconds. Thomas just has to survive. Can he do it? Three seconds left. A Time. fantastic round three here at the Garden. I Thomas knocked Barrett down, and Barrett nearly did the same. I don't think I, I took one breath in that last 45 seconds. Good job on Wayne Barrett coming back after that knockdown. Put some good pressure at the end on Rob Thomas, scaring me. And I'm sure everyone else in the corner. <laughs> Who gets the decision? Who faces Mike Lemaire later tonight? That decision when we return. We're back here at the Garden, and let's look at these highlights. And Joe, what a fantastic fight, especially round three. Yeah, it came back, and the first round was really close. The second round, Wayne Barrett seemed to pick up. And there's that knockdown from Rob Thomas in the third which, you know, was very confident, but Wayne Bear recovered very nicely and came back and put some good pressure. There's a solid right hand there. He did some good work hitting the body as well, Barrett. That's where Rob had to quickly recover. So Wayne Barrett almost came back and put Thomas down, but not quite. Thomas survives round three, and look at the total strikes landed. 80 there for Barrett, 83 for Robert Thomas. Yeah, very close. Here's the official decision, and Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
This bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 29-27, 29-27, and 30-26. It is a unanimous decision. All for your winner, now advancing to the tournament final, Robert Thomas. Well, Joe, he didn't make it look easy. But Thomas advances to the final. He's a little bit of damaged goods, but so too is Mike Lemaire, who has the edge if you could take your trainer's cap off for just a minute as we head to the final. Well, they have fought in the past, and Rob Thomas won by head kick knockout. Uh, but Mike Lemaire looked really good in this first fight. So I expect that uh, both guys are different fighters, and it's going to be a different fight than they saw last time. Here is the bracket, your final. It's Canada versus the United States. Mike Lemaire took him four rounds to beat Matt Baker. Robert Thomas did it in three, but just barely over Wade Barrett.